time I will come to learn a hard Miami lesson. Every pleasure has a price. What is up, Danny? Yule, good to see you again. We spoke last year. Yeah, good What's to see you. What's happening, Sin City? Oh, it's just we're just roasting to death here. It's 110, 112 today. It's really hot. <laughs> so what, also hot is this series, you guys. Congratulations, man. Thank, Thank you. you. We're having a blast. Oh, I, I can tell. I can tell. Well, Danny, Roman's a hotel manager, but not just any hotel. Uh, what goes on inside the Mutiny Nightclub exactly? You know, I think originally what happened in Vegas stays in Vegas, but what happens in the mutiny stays in the mutiny hotel. Uh, you know, that that's one of the parallels between, you know, Vegas and Miami and certainly at the mutiny hotel. Uh, it is the epicenter of uh, celebrity. It is the epicenter of, you know, political machinations. Uh, but it's also where the marimberos, the cocaine cowboys would frequent. Uh, and that brought along the DEA. So it made for a uh, a volatile, dangerous, sexy, hedonistic hotspot. Well, you will, you know, your character is one of the biggest kingpins in Miami. But will family stand in Nestor's way of what he wants? Family? Yes, his family. Uh, will he no, stand in the no. way? He'll he'll find a way to he'll find a way to work the family in. No, no, nothing stands in the way of uh, of a guy like that. You know what I mean? I Absolutely. mean. They took his country away. I mean, it's tough to when you've been beaten like that. You know, you, a lot, very few things are going to ruffle you. And Danny, you know, Roman is torn between the feds and his own brother. Uh, but either decision is it a life of crime, no matter which way he goes. Well, I think uh, the the other polarity is his family. You know, it's it's really putting his family at risk. It's putting Valeria, his daughter. It's putting Marisol, uh, you know, his his girlfriend. Uh, it's putting them at risk. I think that he he's he's put his life at risk often. Uh, so I don't think that he really worries about himself. I mean, he is, after all, the general manager of the most volatile nightclub uh, on the face of the planet, arguably. Uh, so, you know, for him to be in that in that predicament, I think that's sort of his natural habitat. Uh, the polarity between his brother and the DEA putting his family at risk. Uh, that's really what he's worried about. And you'll recreating Miami in 1978. I was just amazed at the details. I swear you were wearing a Scarface, Scarface suit at one point, weren't you? Me? Yeah, your character. He had the same one. It had the same suit that was going on. It looked like the same kind of suit. Uh, I don't. Well, I mean, it may it have been was, the same. It was the one that had Al Pacino's name in the. Yeah, it did. It said Al Pacino's <laughs> tag. Yeah. 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 No, uh, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it was wearing. Uh, I was. Uh, I think I wear a white suit that maybe 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 it's a white suit reminds you of mm. uh, of of yeah Scarface. Yeah, sure. But the, the details in 1978. I understand you guys. You had to go to the Dominican Republic to kind of because Miami's changed considerably, but the DM is like stayed stayed in the 70s, hasn't it? It's such a beautiful country. Uh, the culture, the food, the music, the people. I mean, we we had a fantastic time in the, in the Dominican Republic. You know. Uh, Santo Domingo, the the capital is actually, you know, very cosmopolitan. And there's some incredibly modern, uh, uh, yes. you know, uh, technological areas of, of that country that we could not shoot in. But we shot in Juan Dolio, which is about 45 minutes to an hour outside of the capital. And there were multiple times where Yule and I were standing on a set on location outside. And we're both from Miami. And we'd be like, doesn't this remind you of this area, my little Havana or Key Biscayne or Virginia yeah. Key. Yeah. Multiple times we felt like we were transported back to Miami of our youth. Yeah. Well, congratulations, guys. You know, I hope we have a season two because this story is just getting started. You know, the 1980s is where all comes down. And uh, I thank you for your time today. And uh, let's talk again soon. And we'll see you in Vegas. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you. you so much, man. Appreciate, Appreciate that. You.